Hello everyone. I am really enjoying this beautiful weather outside. In fact, I went for a walk today and I started to notice all of the leaves on the trees are starting to change color. And it's just really beautiful to go out and see all that color. And it always reminds me that no matter when the seasons change or how they change, that God is still in control and he still likes to show us his presence. And so I always see that in the fall. And, you know, as we're thinking about fall, I was thinking about something else. And I wanted to share one of my favorite things with you all this morning. Some of you will know this about me. I love calendars. In fact, I have different calendars all through my house. And the thing I love most, especially in January when you get a brand new calendar, and you can tell by looking at my calendar here, I love to fill up the, all of those spaces with activities and events and birthdays and happy things and then also those not so fun things like dentist appointments and doctor's appointments. But I think about the calendar and I think about how God helps us in our lives. And so that's what I've kind of been doing this month with all of our story times is pulling out some everyday objects that you might see around your house to help you think about God's presence in your daily life. And so here's what I was going to think about today. This is an old calendar. Now, if I was going to look for a date for, say, Thanksgiving, what date that's going to be, well, this calendar wouldn't do me any good. It's from a couple of years ago, and the numbers change every month, every year on the month, during the month. And so it's never the same day for some days like Halloween are always October 31st. Valentine's Day is always February the 14th. But different holidays like Thanksgiving may have a different date. And so in 2019, Thanksgiving was on the 28th of November. Yeah, but that wouldn't be very helpful for me this year because Thanksgiving will not be on the 29th of November this year. So as I was thinking about that and looking through this calendar, you know what it also it made me think about? It made me think about mistakes that I made in my past. And I'll tell you why a calendar brings that to mind for me. It's a valuable tool and it's really good to use if you need to know dates, but it, when it's out of date and it's expired, then those things have already happened. They're already in the past. And that's why I think about mistakes that I have made today. A lot of those mistakes are in my past. Now, that's not to say that I won't still make mistakes today, but a lot of the things that I was thinking about flipping through these calendars were mistakes that I made in my past. And you know what's really wonderful is God does not hold our past mistakes against us. In fact, he doesn't, when we ask him for forgiveness and we correct those mistakes in our lives and we learn from those mistakes, God never brings them up ever again. When we bring them to him and we ask him for help and forgiveness, I'm going to read you a scripture that will help illustrate what God does when we make those confessions to him. So I thought about, you know, I'd be embarrassed if this calendar that I have here, if all of these spaces inside were filled with all the mistakes that I made in 2019. It would probably be really full because I think I'd make a lot of mistakes in my life, you know. But God doesn't hold those mistakes against us. And you know, when the new year comes, I love to get a nice, clean space and start all over again. And that's what happens in our lives when we go to God and we confess our sin and our mistakes and our failures to him. He gives us a clean slate so that we can start all over again fresh as if we hadn't done those things. And so that's really awesome. So let me go ahead and read to you today from the Psalms, and I'm going to read from Psalm 103, verses 9 through 12. So if you open your Bible about maybe in the middle, you're going to come into Psalms, generally. when you If you open it right exactly in the middle, you'll see Psalms. 
and we're going to read from Psalm 103. And we're going to start in verse 9 and read through verse 12. So if you'd like to follow along with me, that's Psalm 103, verses 9 through 12. He will not accuse, nor will he harbor his anger forever. He does not treat us as our sins deserve, or repay us according to our iniquities. For as high as the heavens are above the earth, so great is his love for those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he removed our transgressions or sins from us. So that tells you exactly what God does for us. He loves us so much that when we come to him and ask him to forgive us for our sins and our mistakes and our shortcomings, he does that. And he doesn't treat us as our sins deserve. Because, you know, we've learned in previous lessons that sin equals death. And that's what we deserve as a, as a human being who is sinful. We deserve death for our sins. But guess what? God loved us so much that he sent Jesus, who took our sin on himself, and he took our punishment of death for us, and he overcame death and sin for us and that is why God provided Jesus for us because he loves us so much that he wants us to have forgiveness for our mistakes and for the things that we do that we know we shouldn't do and it doesn't change how God feels about us God still loves us he knows we're human he knows we're going to make mistakes he knows we're going to do things that we regret that we're going to act in anger that we're going to tell lies but it doesn't change how he loves us. And he gave us a way so that we can come to him and we can clear our calendar off and we can start all over again, fresh and new. And the other thing that helps us is we have the Holy Spirit to help us to make those better choices. Now, I'm not going to say we'll ever be perfect on this side of heaven, and there won't ever be a day where we won't make some mistakes or tell a lie or get angry. But one day when we are with Jesus, all of that will be cleared away. But God gave us the Holy Spirit to help us every day, to help us make good choices, but also to help us to learn from our mistakes. So I'm going to pray here in a minute, but I want you to think this week, every time when you walk through your house and you see a calendar on the wall or you see one at school or anywhere you are, I want you to stop and thank Jesus for what he did for us so that we can have forgiveness of sin. And I want you to remember that nothing, not even your mistakes, can separate you from God's love. He loves us no matter what. Let's pray. Dear God, we thank you so much that you love us and that when we make mistakes, you forgive us. Lord, we're human and we know we're going to do things wrong and we're not always going to get it right. But if we come to you and ask you for help, then not only will you forgive us for those things that we do wrong, but you'll also help us to learn from our mistakes so that we won't do those things anymore. Lord, I pray right now that for each one of us that has made a mistake this week or that will make a mistake by the time they hear this story time that you will help them to remember to come to you and when you bring it to when we bring it to you and we ask you to forgive us then you don't bring those things back up you take those things and throw them away as far as the east is from the west and lord i am so grateful that you do that for us and that you don't hold our sins against us and that you don't treat us as our sins deserve so, Lord, this week we want to turn to you. We want to ask you to help us to continually rely on your strength and the Holy Spirit to help us make good choices, but then also to help us to learn from the mistakes that we made so that we won't make those mistakes ever again. Lord, watch over us, protect us, and bring us back again next week. And we ask you in Jesus' name, amen. Bye for now. I'll see you next week.